friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with genular tear the patient has history of trauma history of blunt trauma i have taken up this case for surgery let us observe the surgical steps this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome at around 11 o'clock the genular weakness is most from 3 o'clock to 7 o'clock this is a side port on the left side of the main incision and now an air bubble has been injected to fill up the anterior chamber and beneath this air bubble the anterior capsule is stained with tripe and blue dye this is a bit of phenocain and a bit of adrenaline to keep the people dilated and now the dye is washed out and now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now as i try to do rexis with a uh, uterata forceps see what happens the whole lens moves and i am not able to pierce the anterior capsule it happens when there is weak genual you may not be able to pierce the anterior capsule so i have to take a sharp needle this is a bent 26 gauze disposable needle i have raised a capsular tag with this and now i did an optimum sized rexis the rexis size of the rexis is okay but just in front of the main incision i wanted to enlarge the rexis a bit so i make a cut with a vitreous micro scissor take the uterata forceps hold the capsular tag and increase the size of the rexis removing a part of the capsule in this area now hydro dissection is done with bss and 27 gauze cannula hydro dissection is very important in this case because my plan is to apply a capsular tension ring and i want to do a nice hydro dissection before applying the capsular tension ring now i inject visco and try to rotate the nucleus by manually because if we rotate the nucleus by manually stress on the genule is much less yes the nucleus is mobile though it is not moving freely though it is not rotating freely it is mobile and now i do some more hydro and i find that a portion of the equator tends to come out so i inject visco and try by manual rotation again and it rotates this is okay this is enough i don't want to don't want to rotate much because it can cause some tear of the remaining genular fibers and now before applying the capsular tension ring i want to remove some loose cortex so that i can see clearly visibility decreases on we on we do hydrodissection 
and now I inject visco and take the capsular tension ring I introduce the capsular tension ring and my plan is to guide the leading end of the CTR into the capsular bag though it appears to go into the capsular bag I'm not very really sure so since I was not very really sure about it I removed it again and now I go again push it in this area yes now I'm sure that it has gone into the capsular bag I can see the rexis margin is stressed and now I hold the trailing end take a sinski hook on my left hand hold the seat here through the eyelet at the trailing end and release it in the capsular bag and now the FECO needle is introduced and some superficial cortical lens matter is removed now I turn the handpiece make the bevel off and try to do direct job the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and a nice crack is made and now I turn to the right side make try to make a job but it fails I could not make the job so I turn to the left side hold at 3 o'clock and make another chop and I get a free nuclear fragment this fragment is emulsified and removed in this case I am using low parameters and low bottle height vacuum is 250 millimeter of mercury flow rate is 25 ml per minute ultrasonic energy being used is 60% and here it is I try to make another chop here and I get another free nuclear fragment and by this time her dissection has happened nicely I try to rotate this big piece and it rotates hold it again and chop it but I failed three times so I go to a thicker part hold it nicely and make another good job and this free nuclear fragment is emulsified and aspirated and now this fragment is chopped and it is done and this is the last portion of the lens matter at this time I am very slowly intermittent application of energy and I find that there is very little cortical matter from 1 o'clock to 7 o'clock and that is a good thing probably I did nice hydro before applying the CTR and that is why the cortex is not there and now I remove the cortex from the sub incisional area with the help of this Simco cannula and it is done So cortex is nicely removed. 
the capsule bag is nicely stabilized by the seat here and now I fill up the capsule bag and anti-chamber with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and then inject a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens in the capsule bag and it is done now the visco that was used for implantation of the intraocular lens is nicely removed I'm using this 23 gauze Simco cannula first And then I use by manual irrigation aspiration. By manual irrigation aspiration cannoli. I have made only one side port, so the irrigation goes through the main wound. I wash the space between the lens and the posterior capsule and it looks nice this is a bit of moxifloxacin now this side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this stab incision And then this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is formed nicely. And then I press the main wound for a few seconds and find that it is nicely sealed. Thank you very much for your attention.